Hi, this is Chatty Dad One for Nuke the News Media, and today I'm going to show y'all how to make a portable, um, durable camping stove, a survival stove, and you can also use it as a heater. I got one burning here right behind me. <clears throat> and uh, when it starts going good, and yes, they do get hot. But once they start going well, you can see how the fuel is coming out of the little holes here. Very cool. Now before you start it, you're going to want to have something to put it out with. I got me a stainless steel bowl as a snuffer, which works great. I use... 91% alcohol. <coughs> That's my fuel of choice. It burns, it's easy to find, and you can make it. Easy to make. Okay. Let's get into it. What you want to do to measure out your measurements on your thing you're going to want to take your pinky and your second joint here is going to be how big the measurement is okay that's how much you're going to need to you're going to need the bottoms of two cans okay this one I've already got a hole in it but don't never mind that this one is going to be the bottom of the stove. This one is going to be the top of the stove. And you'll cut it out here, leaving the rim intact. And you want to leave a pretty good sized little rim. You can see there how this rim is. before you make your cuts but you're going to need two of these one for the top one for the bottom which is going to contain your fuel and once you start these things they don't go out until you snuff it out or it burns out of fuel and then this piece here in between you're going to want to use it as this that's what this is going to be and you see the notches here here that's going to be part of the stove that's going to be the internal uh, piping going up your fuel is going to be sucked up through the notches here through the notches and up and out the fumes will be I got a couple of diagrams of uh, what you'll need and if you have any questions ask if you're a minor please get help from an adult and make sure you're in a well ventilated area to do this with these are the small stoves I haven't made any of the large ones but it's the same principle okay there's another diagram I've shown a little bit more detail Okay. 
like I say, if you're not 18 and you're a child or a minor, get somebody who's an adult to help. Don't try your stove unless you're in a well-ventilated area, preferably outside. Have a fire extinguisher on hand or dirt. You cannot put this out with water. Once you get your pieces cut, you'll have three pieces. You'll also want to get some tape. This is uh, air conditioning tape. It's aluminum tape. And I use it. You don't really have to have it, but I use it. It helps. And it doesn't get burned away. But I'll show this again. The tops, you won't use at all. The midsection, this part right here, is going to be this part. This bottom part, for this one, is this. See how I've left the inside of there? I'll show you. That's important to get a good flow going. And then on your other can, you're going to want to, this is going to be the bottom, the part that contains the fuel of your stove. And you can throw the rest away, or you can keep this part of this one. Like I say, it's, you can either make it these ones are a little shorter. But no matter what you do, you just make sure that this area, when you crush these two together, that this area snugs down on them. I'll show you. <clears throat> okay, we're going to take our piece here. See the notches? Notches always go down. We're going to seat it. Down here. And you can see how... Okay, now we got it snug. What I always do at this point is pinch off where the joint is. and put a little piece of tape there. Just to hold it in place for you. And be careful don't cut yourself. Use a hammer and nails to pound your holes. Do that first. Don't cut your can until you have your holes put in it. The part with the notches, notches always go down. So the notches will go into the can and they will rest in the groove See how they're resting down in there? Then you take the top with your holes in it and your cutout and place that over and you push the other piece under the other can. I've put a couple slits in it so you can push it under easier. See? And slowly work it, slowly work it. You can see it's going on there. Make sure it's going in good. Now push it until it's in good. Okay, that's in good all the way around. Now you're going to want to take and fold in the pieces of aluminum 
fold those in to uh, snug it up. I'll show you after I fold them in. Like I say, be careful when you're cutting this stuff. It is sharp. You might want to use some gloves. Maybe eye protection. I recommend using alcohol, rubbing alcohol, or drinking alcohol. As long as it's 100 proof or above, it will work. Now, this stove will work if whether or not you got it right or not. It will still burn. But if you got it the way it should be, you'll have them, uh, the jets here, going. Now, push that down. I always like to pay, take a piece of tape and go around it just, uh, you know, just to kind of seal it and kind of make sure it doesn't come apart. There's nothing, nothing to these. Easy to make, and they're very good little stoves. Okay? I'm going to take... Make sure you have a snuffer. Something to put it out with. I'm going to take the fuel from our other stove and put it into this one. Plus add a tad, tad more. Now if you fill it up halfway, you'll get it, you'll have it burning for 10 minutes. And it burns hot and fast once it gets going through those vents. Okay, let's see if we properly have done this right. It'll start pulling it up through the uh, through the vents, the nail holes soon. If we've done it right, and if anybody has any questions, please ask, and I'll be happy to uh, answer questions. I've used these. That first one I had lit, I've had it for six years. Had it on over a dozen campouts and used it many times. What you want to do is dig a hole um, about as deep as your stove. Put some rocks or pieces of wood around it. And make your stove, make, your, uh, make it to where your pot is about one to two inches above your stove flame above the top of your stove. Okay, it's going now. You can see how much hotter it just got. Now, Check it out. We just did that out of two soda cans. See how it's coming out of the holes? Pretty cool. And it's, they're very light. You can make as many as you want. They're really cool. <laughs> I mean, it's fun to make them. Like I say, make sure you make your holes before you cut your can in half. Any soda can will work. So, uh, that's going good. <laughs> Go ahead and put it out, douse it, and uh, use caution when making this stove. Don't cut yourself. If you're a minor, have an adult supervision, you can use scissors or a good knife use nails to make the holes don't forget your notches and your tape and uh, you know enjoy enjoy and uh, it can be also you be used as a heater excellent for survival I'll, I'll have several of them in, in my bug out bag hope everyone's well this is chatty dad one for nuke the news media over and out.